Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Shayna. I hope everyone is having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever it is that you are watching this video. If you happen to be new to my channel, here we discuss historic places that are known to be haunted. We talk about the history and then dive into the haunted stories of each place. Last week we talked about Lake Shawnee Amusement Park. If you missed it, I'll be sure to link it above here. If you enjoy this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly uploads. I upload every Wednesday at 10 a.m. I am excited about today. We will be doing a get ready with me or a ghost and glam type video. Now I am no makeup guru, <laughs> but I love this type of content where I watch YouTubers put their makeup on while they talk about other things. I love watching Bailey Sarian. She does the makeup murder mystery Mondays. I don't know if she's the one that kind of started everything. It kind of seems like she is, but she's my favorite. And I also love watching Jamie French. She's hilarious. She does makeup and movies. If you have never heard of them, I'll be sure to link their channels in the description if you want to check them out. But I just figured it'd be fun to do this maybe once a month or something. But all of the products that I'm going to use, I'm going to try to find the link for them and put them in the description if you're interested in them. Some of this stuff is from Pharmacy. It's a makeup brand. My mom actually got me most of the stuff that's here from pharmacy because she sells it but other stuff it was either given to me or I got from Ipsy yeah <laughs> I'll try to find links if I can't I'm really sorry but I will put them in the description below and that way I don't hold up the rest of the video talking about what I'm using <laughs> the one thing that I am going to bring up is that I already have on my face is the lotion I just got this at Walmart <laughs> and Vichy with a V. I put that on my problem areas and let it dry before I do anything else. Those are the only two things I'm going to bring up and the rest I will get to it. So let's get into the video. I am super excited about today's video. Today we will be talking about the Cecil Hotel. The Cecil Hotel is a budget hotel and it's located in downtown Los Angeles. The hotel was built in 1924 and would actually open in 1927. It would have 19 floors and 700 rooms. Now it was fully renovated in 2017 and it is now a mix of hotel rooms and residential units. It was built by William Banks Hanner, Charles L. Dix, and Robert H. Schott. The building was designed by a Loy Lester Smith and it was built in like a Beaux Arts style and it was constructed by W.W. W. Padden. The cost to build the hotel was $1.5 million, which it's a lot now, but it was a lot back in the day. Now the lobby had this beautiful marble on the floors and it had these stained glass windows. Very luxurious. The building would flourish as a fashionable destination in the 1940s, but it would later slowly decline as the nearby area known as Skid Row became increasingly populated. As many as 10,000 homeless people lived in a four mile radius of the hotel. Unfortunately, by the 1950s, the hotel would gain a reputation as a residence for transients. It's kind of a bummer for such a beautiful hotel. In 2017, the Los Angeles City Council declared the hotel as a historic cultural monument. Now, the Cecil really started to decline when there would be a lot of suicides and violent deaths that would happen in the hotel. First documented suicide was dated back in 1931. A guest named W.K. Norton committed suicide by taking poison capsules. Now in 1934, there was an army sergeant and his name was Louis D. Borden and he ended up slitting his throat with his own razor. Less than four years later, there was a man, his name was Roy Thompson and he ended up throwing himself off the roof and he was in the Marine Corps. 
So sad. Then in September of 1944, there was a 19 year old woman named Dorothy Purcell and she was at the hotel and she had a lot of stomach pain. She did not know that she was actually about to give birth. So she ended up giving birth on the bathroom floor, tried to be as quiet as she could because she didn't want to wake up the man she was with. My shirt. <sighs> so she ended up giving birth to the child and then throwing the child out the window. She would be arrested and declared as temporarily insane. I hate hearing sad stories about babies, stuff that happens to babies or children. It just ugh, makes me so angry. <laughs> you just, I don't understand. She says she claims that she thought it was dead. Is that true though? Also, how do you not know you're pregnant? I get it happens. I've heard stories, but you've got to have some sort of inkling unless she just hoped it was something else that would just go away, you know, like some other illness or I don't know. Maybe she was insane. I have no idea. These are just my opinions. In 1962, there was a 65 year old man and his name was George Giannini. I think it's how you pronounce his name. And he was just taking a walk by the Cecil. He was just, you know, walking past the Cecil. Someone who was committing suicide, it was a 27 year old female, jumped out of her window and landed on George, killing him too. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. You don't hear stuff like that. Some people started calling the Cecil the suicide because of how many suicides occurred there since it has been open. But the hotel became a place mainly for, you know, drug activity, fairs, and all gathering for bad stuff to happen. <laughs> now in 1947, there was a woman who I'm sure you've heard of. Her name was Elizabeth Short, AKA the Black Dahlia. She was spotted having a drink at the Cecil bar just days before her murder. And it is still unsolved to this day, unfortunately. 1964, there was a, I don't know if she was like a radio personality. All it said online was like a telephone operator. But when I watched Ghost Adventures, it said she was kind of famous. So I don't, I don't know, but she was known as Pigeon Goldie. And she actually got that nickname because she liked feeding the pigeons. And everyone at the hotel knew her and liked her. She's just a sweet lady, but she was unfortunately found dead in her room. Someone had raped her, murdered her, and ransacked her room. There was actually a man who was charged for her murder, but he eventually got cleared of the charges and it still remains unsolved to this day, unfortunately. Now, one of the most famous people who actually stayed at the Cecil Hotel, I know we've heard of him. There's a documentary about him on Netflix that I watched not too long ago. It's actually pretty good. You should check it out if you haven't. But it was Richard Ramirez, AKA the Night Stalker. Wah, wah, wah. He stayed at the hotel. I don't exactly know how long he did, but he stayed there and they believe he could have possibly done killings while he was staying there. Oh, I put blush on before I put concealer. Gosh darn it. This is what happens when I talk and do makeup at the same time. I forget things. Anyways, if you haven't seen the documentary, it's on Netflix and it's called Night Stalker, but it's really good. It just talks about how the police were able to catch him. Actually really good. Now, there was another serial killer who stayed there and he was from Austria and his name was Jack Utenweger. Hoped I pronounced that right. But while he was staying at the Cecil, he ended up killing three sex workers. They actually believe he was trying to copy Richard Ramirez. So, I think they refer to him as like a copycat to Richard. But later he would be caught and tried in Austria and then he would hang himself soon after his conviction. Good riddance. Now the Cecil Hotel is pretty popular right now because of the most recent case that had happened. A lot of people are talking about the 21 year old college student and her name was Elisa Lamb. There's a video of her acting strangely in the elevator of the hotel. I'll try to insert it here if I'm able to put that surveillance video in this video. If not, I'll link it below. But the surveillance footage actually went viral because of her behavior. Like she goes into the elevator, she pushes a lot of buttons, 
then she'll stand in the corner and she'll go out of the elevator, do some weird stuff with her hands, goes back in and then goes out and it's just, nobody knows exactly why. They didn't find her for, it was over a week, I don't know exactly. Later they actually found her on the roof, one of the big water supply cisterns. And the only reason why they found her was because some of the residents were complaining about the awful taste of the water and the water pressure not being as good. Now the case is still a mystery. It's closed. It was put as accidental and then it was put as death unknown and then it was back to accidental. So it's closed now. Some people think that her behavior was some sort of bipolar disorder. She just had some sort of psychotic break or something and she just kind of lost it and then put herself in the tank. So a lot of people think it was a murder. I don't know if we'll ever know. I just started watching the documentary on Netflix. I haven't quite finished it yet, but um, it's, I think it's called The Cecil or The Cecil Hotel or something like that but it's I, i've watched like one episode and it's pretty good it just kind of dives into the history of it and stuff kind of her background but i did watch the ghost adventures thing that came out i think it was like in january and that was pretty interesting to watch they dove into her case a little bit and some they dove into richard ramirez and that jack guy <laughs> it was it was pretty interesting so now let's talk about the hot team As far as the ghost stories at the Cecil, I couldn't really find a lot online for some reason. I really only found one site about the hauntings, but I did find some and then I watched the ghost adventure video which was interesting. But what I found was some people see a boy, they don't exactly know his story, but they do see him. There was a man who stayed in a room and as he was falling asleep, he felt someone choking him. And so once he was able to get free, he went down to the lobby and demanded a new room. He ended up finding out that there was a murder that happened in his room. I don't exactly know which murder it was, but he ended up, he was like, okay, switch me rooms because I'm not going to go back in there. I don't blame him. Others will feel people lying on top of them as they're lying in bed. Some will be laying in bed and then they'll hear their stuff going through, like someone's digging through their stuff. Ghost Adventures was really cool. They saw dark shadows, they heard hissing, they heard screaming a couple times. The elevator that Elisa Lam used, Zach went on there and he played that creepy elevator game. Wouldn't suggest doing that, but he did. And for some reason, when he, after playing, he got off the elevator and the elevator itself just went up to floor seven for no reason, even though no one else was in the building. And then he pushed the open door and it came back it was, it was weird, like it kept going to floor seven. It did that a few times during their investigation. They it did end up catching a ghost in a picture. If I can find it, I'll try to insert it, but they saw a ghost in a doorway. It was pretty cool, so I'll try to insert that if I can find it. If not, I'm sorry, you'll just have to try to watch it. Ghost Adventures say that they believe that the hotel is causing people to go crazy. So, I mean, you never know. But anyways guys that's it for me let me know what you think of this video let me know if you've stayed in the hotel it's a beautiful hotel it is really old has a lot of history a lot of dark history but it was really interesting to dive into and i'll try to link everything below i'll link the bailey sarian and jamie french channels below and i'll try to link the face makeup stuff that i used today in the description box let me know if you enjoyed this type of video because i'd like to do that once a month if i can and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly uploads and I will see you again next Wednesday. Bye.